Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Kate Snow. Special individuals and agencies that we want to celebrate, beginning with our Agency and Board of the Year honorees, and to present these prestigious awards, I'm going to ask Big Brothers, Big Sisters of America President and CEO Charles Pearson and our National Board Chair Jim Singleton to join me up here. That's right. Thank you, Kate. This is the fun stuff, and good evening, everyone. Our 2013 National Agency of the Year winners have demonstrated program quality and revenue growth, talent management, a commitment to diversity, and effective strategic planning. Leading our outstanding network of agencies is a real honor, as you all know. Uh, <clears throat> good evening. Charles is absolutely right. Few agencies can claim these titles. Criteria for Board of the Year are qualities that embody performance excellence in revenue growth, strategic leadership, board development, board governance, and match retention. Also add board engagement and fundraising to that list. We're recognizing Network's outstanding local agencies and top board of directors in three categories, large, mid-size, and small market. To accept these awards for both Agency of the Year and Board of the Year, we would like to ask the CEO and the board chair or the board representative to join us on the stage. Our Agency of the Year and our Board of the Year are one and the same. And this year's winner of our Mid-Large Agency Alliance is Big Brothers Big Sisters Northeast Indiana. Congratulations, big brothers, big sisters of Northeast Indiana. We have a very special couple here tonight to join our agency, and they did not know that they were going to be selected. Bob and Virginia Wolf have chosen to come and be with us this evening. Bob was a three-year national board president, the founder of Do It Best Corporation, a national partner of Big Brothers Big Sisters, sitting with us tonight. Bob, Virginia, would you please stand for a round of applause? We appreciate you. Thank you. And again, congratulations, Big Brothers Big Sisters in Northeast Indiana. And now sharing the Big Sister of the Year honor, Alyssa Lozier and her now 18-year-old little sister, Jordan. From the beginning, Alyssa knew there was something extraordinary about Jordan. And Jordan knew the same about her Everybody big sister. Everybody pictures a certain person in their mind of who their little might be. And sometimes the experience is even better than what you would imagine. We started our match when she's 12, she's 18 now. And I've seen her thought process change. She's just matured. Us being sisters has changed you. Do you think you've changed? Yeah. The bonding that has grown since they've met each other. I remember when we first met Alyssa, and I was kind of like Jordan, and as a parent, I was just real nervous, you know, somebody new, and then after we met her and talked to her for a while, I felt real comfortable. For me, I didn't like her at first, only because I didn't know her. It takes me a while to get comfortable with people, so. For children with Asperger's, small tasks that can be easy for some people can be very challenging, ordering, from a menu in a restaurant, talking to strangers, being uh, in large crowds in front of people that you don't know. It was really hard to predict what our connection would be on any given meeting. Sometimes it would be a little laugh over something. Sometimes it would just be singing the same song in the car. And sometimes she would really confide in me and um, say what was really bothering her or what she really was concerned about. Uh, everywhere we go, we take pictures so that we can scrapbook. So we kind of just would build connections through common interests and find new interests that we could expose each other to. We've gone horseback riding, we've painted pottery. Fun Spot was one of my favorite ones and 
we're probably going to Sierra Point this summer, me and her. She really has a lot of layers and it's fun to kind of peel those back and really get to, to see the Jordan that not everybody gets to see. So what do you what do you remember about going to this movie? It was the first premiere we ever went to. Yeah. Big Brothers Big Sisters provides a venue for these relationships that you wouldn't necessarily find in the community on your own. It's being there consistently and meeting the person that you're matched with where they are and finding out what they need. I would help push her out of her comfort zone to um, experience new things, to push her own limits and see that she can really do something when she puts her mind to it. And so she would help MC events with me and introduce me. She would speak in front of a crowd and she did great. I was so proud of her in those moments to see her standing on the stage knowing how nervous and uh, a frightening experience that can be. But I said, you know what? I'm nervous too. We're going to do this together and it's going to be fantastic. And she was great. And it was so rewarding to see her conquer those fears and to push herself and to succeed. And I hope that she remembers those moments when she faces something that is difficult or is scary and she remembers, no, I can do it. If I decide to, I can do it. My graduation party for instance, if we weren't so close, I wouldn't have invited her. So I consider her family and that's why she's going to my graduation too. You know, it's really touching that I get to be one of those special people in her life. And it'll be small moments or a moment where she just feels more comfortable if I'm next to her. And I, I'm just so honored that she has trusted me so much. And I, you know, I just love her for that. And I, and I want her to know that I'm always here for her and I'm always there to protect her and encourage her and push her, but I'm there with her. And I think that that's what's allowed us to get close, is that everything we do, we do together. Ladies and gentlemen, please meet and help me congratulate Big Sister of the Year, Alyssa Lozier, and her little sister, Jordan. Wow, this is really cool. <laughs> Thank you so much to everyone from Comcast, NBC Universal, Big Brothers, Big Sisters of America, and Big Brothers, Big Sisters of Northeast Indiana. Yeah! <laughs> I had no idea that you guys won, too. And thank you to all of the supporters of this amazing organization. Thank you to my mom and dad, Karen and Daryl Ivinson. They're here with me from uh, Indiana. Jordan's mom and stepdad, Donna and Mike. But the biggest thank you tonight goes to Jordan, my little sister. It's hard to believe we've actually been matched for more than six years now. I'm so proud to see how the little girl I first met has matured and become such an amazing young woman. In high school and college, I volunteered a lot, so I knew when I moved to Fort Wayne I wanted to get involved in the community. I thought Big Brothers Big Sisters would be a fun way to do that, but I didn't expect so many life lessons to come with it. I envisioned a little who would be just like me, same interests and passions. That's not who Jordan is, but I couldn't be more blessed for it. The unexpected challenges of being Jordan's big made me grow as a person in ways I never could have imagined. When we first met, Jordan had trouble making eye contact, seemed very shy. That made me nervous because I'm a very naturally outgoing person, but I made it my mission to make Jordan feel special enough and loved enough to let me into her world. Now she confides in me with her innermost thoughts, troubles, and triumphs. I'm so honored, Jordan, that you trust me to be your confidant. 
Now, not too long ago, Jordan was diagnosed with Asperger's. It came as no surprise to many of us, but Jordan was finally able to understand why she felt some of the feelings that she had. And as you saw in the video, we've made so many wonderful memories together, chatting in restaurants, watching movies, never missed Twilight premieres, <laughs> right? And now we're onto the Hunger Games, so we've got that bookmarked in November. We bake cookies, we go horseback riding. In fact, we're going horseback riding here in Colorado tomorrow. So, yeah. Cross your fingers, we're okay. We paint pottery, we go to shows, and we scrapbook a lot. But some of the best moments just happen riding in the car and chatting. She is so creative, and she would read me some of the things that she's written, and it blows me away, Jordan. You are so talented. And I also loved watching her overcome challenges. Time and again, Jordan has helped me MC events for Big Brothers, Big Sisters, and other organizations. I'm a news anchor, so I get asked to do a lot of things throughout the community. And she did a fantastic job. It was outside of her comfort zone, but she stood up in front of everyone and she did her part. I was so proud of you, Jordan, in those moments. You never cease to amaze me with what you can accomplish. Now, I didn't realize it at the time, but while I was trying to help Jordan grow as a person, she was doing the same for me. She helped me become more patient and kind and understand life from a different perspective. She taught me what it is to mentor. I wanted to make a difference in a little girl's life. That little girl ended up changing mine. Thank you for being my little sister, Jordan. I'm so excited to now continue our match in the college mentoring program. Yeah, she's going to college, folks. And I'm excited to watch you continue to grow and we'll conquer this thing called life. Thank you again, Jordan, for changing my life for the better forever. Congratulations, Alyssa. I'm proud of you. I was just thinking about all we've done over the past years, which has been a lot. I know I push you away sometimes, but I really do appreciate all that you do for me. Alyssa and I have been through a lot of ups and downs over the years, but she is always there for me. We've done a lot of fun things, horseback riding, swimming, and now that I'm growing up, we do a lot of shopping. <laughs> that reminds me, I bought a pair of heels not long ago, Alyssa, you would be proud to, that I can actually walk in them. <laughs> I can be a real klutz sometimes. <laughs> Our time as a match has been great. We always talk to each other about different things. We talk about our problems or just make small talk. Alyssa makes me feel safe, I trust her, and that's what having a big sister is all about. Now, there's one more award tonight that I don't even think Kate knows about. <laughs> uh, because we're recognizing the bigs tonight, but I could not be where I am today without Jordan, my little sister. And I have an award for her tonight because she is my 2013 Little Sister of the Year. And on her award, it says, you never cease to amaze me with what you can accomplish. Never limit yourself. Congratulations, Jordan.